first day of school all over again. Well guys, it's day two here at Daytona, and today we've been getting pushed back by the rain quite a bit. We were supposed to qualify at 11. That ended up getting pushed back, and it's almost 1.30 now, and we're gonna be going after qualifying. They didn't cancel it, they just kept pushing it back. So they're starting the race a little bit earlier too, but it looks like there's a big storm coming in. It's been raining all morning. There is like a good hole right now for us to get in qualifying, so we're gonna try to do that. Practice went pretty good yesterday though. Uh, we did a lot of single car runs. Car felt good, stable. Um, it is a little bit easier, I did notice. Like it does and wander as much by yourself as a truck did um, so that's the only real difference I noticed but it's pretty basic when you're doing single car runs so there's not much you really take away from it so we're gonna go off qualifying see if we can lay a decent lap and see if we can get this race in tonight if not we'll be racing Monday good luck tonight thank you thank you I got one go. more for you if you don't mind yeah, right okay perfect this is clear enough a little bit yeah. get qualifying in then wait for the race <laughs> yeah, like yeah what is that What's with the outfit? What? The dog? The dog? Oh, you know what my crew chief Joe told me? He said, John forced it off the line. I was like, I've been told that before. <laughs> Betty? HOA. HOA. You know what HOA means? Homeowners Association? No, head out of ass. He said, do you know what HOA is? I was like, something I don't have. <laughs> qualifying in but they somehow were able to fit us in to qualify and now we are headed back to the hotel because about three hours later we went out for driver intros did all that it was pouring rain and they ended up calling the race they said at 5 30 they were gonna make a decision on what they were gonna do and it's kind of just sprinkling right now there's a big storm coming in so there's really no way we're gonna be able to get it in today. And now we're back on Monday, so we have tomorrow off. So we'll have to find something to do around here in Daytona. Final day, I was up at 6.30 this morning, got ready, because I thought we were gonna be racing at 11. So we were gonna get to the track at nine. Literally, as we're pulling through the tunnel, I get a phone call from my crew chief, and he says, we're not racing till 9 p.m. So we decided to turn around, got breakfast, hung out for a little bit. Now we decided to come to the track because the cup race is happening for our race. So we're gonna go find a suite, watch the cup race, and we are gonna be racing tonight at 9 p.m. How do we get a hold of a golf cart? Uh, so, this is dangerous. I know. <laughs> Bridge to Tower Suites. Under the stadium. Under the, how do I get there? Um, I know how you get there. Just keep going straight. Just go out of the tunnel. And we're gonna make a left after we get out of the tunnel. Why are you stopping? Well, it, they're just not stopping. Okay, we need to find... Bay what? Bridge to Suites. Um, it's 6.02. Oh my oh. god! <laughs> that hurt my stomach. Okay, we made it into the suite right now. They're still doing driver and chosen and everything, so we got up here nice and early. Avoid the chaos. Air conditioning, we got nice catering. This is a move. <laughs> well, we're headed back right now. It's about four or five hours later, so we're gonna go get down to the pit road. You can hear the car is still going behind me. There's about 50 laps to go. They're in the last stage, so 
Uh, we're probably just gonna hang on the hauler, watch the last bit of the race, go over our game plan once again. Not like we haven't already gone over it, but like just to just to finalize it once again. So, and then we go race time. Oh, oh God! Oh, throw the caution! Throw the caution! Throw it! Damn it! <laughs> it's over. Willie B just won the Daytona 500. You know the whoever flips the caution switch, they like stumble a little bit yeah. before they flipped it, and they're like, damn it, I messed that one up. <laughs> Three days later, we're finally racing. Took long enough. <laughs> this is pretty cool. Not gonna lie, pretty damn cool. <laughs> okay, just gotta be around the end. No pressure. Yeah. So, we'll ride. Make sure it sucks up. And yeah. If it sucks up good. Ride. Okay. All right. Yeah, I want to get far enough, like I think 20th is a good place. Yes. So, just buy and then that group and give yourself feel it out. Yeah, just it'll separate itself. Yeah. Get to the top and ride right there. Okay. Fine. Yeah. It's yeah, and if I'm like stuck on the bottom at all and you think like you see something that like, hey, you start moving up, get your way up, let me know. Okay. Yeah. And I'll be in nice. I'll be in his ear too. Yeah, because you know how these races play out more than I do. And like you know the other drivers in this field more than I do too, if you're like, hey, like, get away, get away from, yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll watch it if I see yeah. stuff happening. Yeah, I like more info than less, so. Because it's going to separate into two packs. It always separates into two packs. I want to be at the end of the first pack. Yeah. I don't want to be in the second pack. Probably, I'm going to retire this whole time. Yeah. So. Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. Something happens, it happens. Most of the time. Yeah, it is what it is. But yeah. I mean, if you hang in the back the whole time, yeah. it's kind of lame. You're gonna have the 362943. The two control car is our lane. Uh, being that it's this cool, I think the bottom is gonna work a little bit better. It's gonna be pretty racy. I think there's a lot of guys kind of on the same game plan as us, gonna drop. So we'll feel this one out, you know, try to hang on to the tail end of that lead pack here and uh, manage from there, keep ourselves in good spots all night. 10 from the mark, five away. Ready, ready, green, green. Both lanes are rolling good here, both lanes are rolling good. On half front, no one inside, no mo out back. 11 jumped up behind you there, that's your sure help now. One back, two inside, two inside, two inside. Now just one inside, the double zero in the mid. They're starting to side drive pretty good up there. One back, your help. Got about three more rolling the bottom, and then it'll be single bottom. So one up, half back, your help in half. Yep, just keep protecting your right side, doing good there. It's pretty tame right now, not worried about the bracking. So one front, you're clear down. You just maintain where we're at. Don't get too far out front of that 92 so they can't jump us. We're good right here, we're not going for stage points. Just check, 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 check. Let them slide down, let them slide down. Uh, we're in, we got heavy front end. Yeah, I don't know how that happens. We're riding in the back and they just drive us through the rack. Okay, we're going to be probably coming to you guys this time. We're heavy front end. We just got pushed into the wreck. I mean, just straight up pushed into the wreck with two cars behind us. We're done if there's no oil pressure. We just got home from Daytona, and to say the least, Daytona was not good for us. Uh, we've tried a different strategy. We've tried every strategy in the past. I've tried the go super hard in the beginning, ended up in it. I've tried the hang way back, ended up in it. And this time, I was like, you know what? I'm going to try the strategy of hanging behind the first pack, just a few car lengths, so I'm still there enough. I'm not super far back, but maybe enough to be able to avoid the wreck. So I was like, maybe this will be a little bit better place for me, at least watching the race back in the past. And so I was like, I'll hang back for the first and second stage. Third stage will go hard. And coming to the end of the first stage, uh, the pack in front of me, the first group in front of me, uh, they ended up wrecking. Uh, I start checking up super hard. I had Balicki about two, three car lengths behind me. And as I'm checking up, trying to avoid the wreck, I'm trying to turn down the track, to get to the bottom because I, I see them about to head back up the track. Um, Josh is checking up behind me and he checked up a little bit later after we watched SMT and ended up wheel hopping a little bit. So he had to get off the brakes quite a bit, which um, ended up making making him not slow up as much as I was. Uh, he got into me just as I was like right in the middle of the track. And as he got into me, I'm trying to save it because I got all uh, jacked up and out of place. And so I'm trying to save it, save it as I'm getting shot back up the track. And just as I get it under me, that's when the 14 came back up the track Suarez and end up getting into him because I just couldn't get it back down the track in time and slow down enough after I got hit so uh, Josh ended up messaging me apologizing telling me he started wheel hopping and stuff and I get it it's Daytona it's so hard 
to have the right strategy to slow down quick enough and it is what it is uh, you kind of know that going into it so so this week coming up we got Atlanta it's another like it's I don't know it's a mini super speedway pretty much they repaved it it's such a fast track very very wide open and so it's going to be another one of those crazy races we're going to go and we're going to go as hard as we can from the beginning try to get good track position and see how we do in that one 